I previously made a video where I tried to get rich using the thrifting feature from high school years, but I feel like I kind of flopped it. I filmed that in early access before we had any information about thrifting and I didn't really know how to do it or how it worked. But now that it's been out for a while and I've kind of realized the potential here, I want to try it again. I think I was a bit intimidated by this feature when it first came out because I don't think that I'm very good at like designing looks in The Sims. I've always felt like I'm not the best at create a sim and I'm more of a builder, so this kind of thing I just thought like wasn't for me. But then I learned you could create these fashion looks and sell them for like ridiculously high prices and Sims would still buy them. And suddenly I became interested. So today we're gonna try again, although I don't have Stanley. As I'm sure you know, I usually use my weenie sim, Stanley Humphrey, for these challenges, but he had his chance and he did a bad job. So instead I've got this sim Ellie, who I think is a little bit more fashionable and perhaps more suited for this position. We should have known. Like, like Stanley is a hot dog. The guy doesn't even wear clothes. Before we get started thrifting in The Sims, I want to take a second and tell you a little bit about our sponsor today, ThreadUp. ThreadUp is an online thrift store, so with it you're able to really easily shop secondhand, like from the comfort of your own home. And unlike traditional shopping where you have to like browse through racks of clothing, on ThreadUp you can search like by brand, you can filter by size. I was very specifically looking for a pink sweater, so I was like filtering through their website and I found this one in my size for only $15. This is my first time doing like a try-on haul or anything like that, so please excuse me if this footage is awkward. But I just did some shopping and I found some really cute things at great prices. I think this pink sweater that I'm wearing today is probably my favorite and I only paid $15 for it. It's originally from Forever 21 actually and the estimated retail is $30, so I got it for like half off. I also bought a couple things from Madewell, which is one of my favorite brands, but it's really expensive when you buy it new. I only paid $30 for this really cute polka dot sweater and the estimated retail is like 90. I also got this polka dot t-shirt. You can kind of see I was in like a polka dot mood, but I only paid $24 for it. The estimated retail of this little cardigan shirt is like a hundred dollars and I paid 35 for it. This is getting a little embarrassing, but I got another polka dot shirt also from Madewell. This one's kind of more of like a wrap style and I think it's gonna look really cute when I wear it in videos. I have seriously had such good luck shopping on ThreadUp and finding really cute stuff. They also have this cool new feature to make it even easier to shop than ever where where you can click my link and see what I ordered and then it'll show you similar items so it's super easy to get outfit inspiration this way. And if you're interested in shopping on ThreadUp, they're offering a huge extra discount to all of you. If you use code Kayla, you get an additional 35% off your first order, which is like enormous considering how great of a deal a lot of their stuff already is. So a huge thank you to ThreadUp for sponsoring this video. I love their website and how easy they make it to buy things secondhand. And with that, let's get back into The Sims. It's a perfectly suited sponsor, honestly. We can thrift, your sim can thrift, and I'm gonna try and do one in the game really quickly. Just in case you're not familiar, the way this works is you like click on those fashion racks in game, and then it takes you into this cast menu, which actually changes every day. The store has different clothes in stock all the time, and you can try and put together an outfit, and the game will class them as different categories, like this one is rocker style. Different things will be trending at different times, and then obviously more likely to sell. So we're gonna kind of try and follow those trends to make some money. I don't really know about this rocker thing that it's classing the shirt as. I think part of what I find so hard about this is that I really struggle to put together an outfit that I don't think is terrible. If I make and sell this, people are gonna be walking around town in this. With great power comes great responsibility, and I'm not sure that I deserve it, but I'm gonna take this and then try and sell this one. I'm just gonna list this on Trendy for like not a ridiculous price to start, because I don't really think that I've got any power to be selling things for exorbitant prices yet, and then I might try and trick Eloise, the store owner, into being my friend. Oh my god, I will not be going to Star Wars. I'm gonna take some selfies with her. Oh, we have matching glasses! Okay, see? We're bound to be best friends. I mean, you don't have much of a choice. <laughs> I'm gonna force you to befriend me, because I need you. I'm gonna talk about fashion trends to her and see if she gives me any tips. I'm quite busy at the moment. I might have some time later to confer some wisdom. Busy doing what? Picking up and then dropping piles of trash? I'm gonna check the latest trends on the app. Basics trend 
is high right now and streetwear trend is low. Okay, let's try and do a basics one. Oh dear. Okay, I don't like any of these. What about full body? These are okay. You know what? This one actually is beautiful. I'm just gonna name it denim dress so that I don't confuse myself, but I actually kind of like that. Let's list that one really quickly too. What is your problem? Respectful rejection from talking trends and you think the building is hideous. Okay, so that's not good. <laughs> There's some boba on the floor. Do you want to just steal it? We could probably take these hamburger sliders too. No one else is gonna eat them. I might as well. I made this basics one quickly too, just so I can try and force my sim to wear it. Maybe we can make it a little bit trendier that way. Wear the outfit. It's cute. You hate it here. That is actually like really inconvenient. If we need to be here like all day, every day, and my sim's gonna hate it. Ooh, hype outfit. Fashion browser. Wow. What an interesting helmet choice. <laughs> Ellie posted a picture of her fit on Trendy. Sadly, appreciation was low and outfit hype has decreased. Oh no. Okay, uh, that's no good. <laughs> She's just sitting on the toilet checking. Ellie has amassed one follower. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> that's great. Okay, so I failed to hype my outfit. Things are going very bad. Very, very, very bad. Just take it off. Stop wearing it. Stop wearing it. Wear literally anything else. <laughs> just sell this. Get this away from me. I'm gonna try and make a new one. This is the thing. I don't think I'm very good at this. This is cute to me, but the game thinks it's streetwear and that's not trendy. So we'll see how that goes, but I think it looks nice. Unfortunately, the way things actually look don't affect the game at all. I'm trying to ask Eloise again about fashion trends and we'll see if she's actually nice to me about it. Apparently not. Cool. Oh my God. <laughs> What an interesting combination. This is the problem with The Sims. When given the opportunity, they will wear every accessory in the game. Like leggings, socks, bracelet, bracelet, rings. Like they put on everything. Sometimes less is more. And, and I think The Sims occasionally fails to realize that. I'm giving up. Things are going bad. I'm going home. Just go to bed and we will worry about this in the morning. Oh, excitement was high and outfit hype has increased. We gained 21 followers. I think you can just do it like over and over again. I am not sure this is a good idea. It seems every other time I do it, it works. So maybe I'll just keep it up. We've got 178 followers. Look at that streetwear trend is high right now. Yeah, cause I keep posting my outfit and everybody likes it. Sell it for 500, see what happens. Oh my God, it's 2 AM. Sorry, I forgot it was the middle of the night. I'm gonna go back to bed. Oh look, somebody's buying it already. Okay, I'm feeling good about this. I've got high hopes for tomorrow. Somebody else is buying the other thing we wore too. We're gaining a decent amount of followers. Okay, unfortunately the rocker trend is low right now and this is the rocker trend, but that's fine, that's fine. I'm just gonna promote this a bunch of times, see if I can fix it, and then I'm gonna sell it for like, how about 10,000 simoleons? Oh my God, not the welcome wagon. <laughs> Please, I don't want this. I'm busy, I'm busy. They're all gonna hate me, which is really gonna inconvenience my ability to be a famous fashion influencer, but look at that streetwear trend is high right now. And we have 420 followers. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm gonna list this outfit. I'm listing it for like 10,000. I've got high expectations, okay? Oh my God, Eloise, why are you calling me? Make some friends, that's fine. Are you bathing in the outfit? Really? I feel like that's probably not gonna help your uh, resale value there, but okay. Maybe Eloise will finally actually talk to me about trends. I'll have you know that I've got a bunch of followers now. I'm sensing that there could be a country trend gathering pace. Huh, okay. Oh my God, fashion show. Are you ready to show off your sublime style? Gain the applause of other fashionistas at the thrifty fashion show? Oh, well, I'll go make a country style <laughs> and I'll wear it to the fashion show. There should be different things today. Oh my God, oh my God. Yeah, because it's a new day, we've got new outfits and I will most definitely be taking advantage of this. Yeehaw, I am wearing this to the fashion show. I don't actually know how to do it. Last time I tried it like didn't work, which is unsurprising. A lot of things from the high school pack don't work, but that won't stop me from trying. Put on the outfit. Show off fashion look. Oh, you look good. You look way better than all of these people. Are you doing it? Huh? I've been sitting here like repeatedly promoting my current look. I think the fashion trend should be high right now. I think that country is really in these days. Country trend is high right now. Okay, maybe I'll list this one then. What if I listed it for like 20,000? Hype fire. There's potential. Potential. Oh, and I got a free corn dog. Aw, things are going good around here. We've got 719 followers. 
that's pretty good. I might just go home and sleep through the night and hope that overnight someone buys my outfit. It's like 3 a.m. and I still got no buyers, but I'm not losing hope. Okay, nobody bought anything overnight. I'm going back to the thrift store and I'm gonna try and like talk about the outfit to rebuild some hype. Eloise isn't even here yet. She's like not even at work. Finally, she's here. I've been waiting for you. I'm trying to talk about fashion trends. You're quite busy at the moment. Oh, really? You don't seem very busy to me. I think I may have um overestimated how much I could sell this thing for. Do you think that by wearing a different country outfit, I can promote my own other country outfit? Is this like a way to hack the system? Get promoting. You got stuff to do. Hype for the outfit has decreased. Okay, cool. <laughs> Perfect. <gasps> Wait, is someone buying something? No, actually a listing expired. Okay, <laughs> cool. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. I'm, I'm fine. I'm trying to sell this one too. I know that I'm putting like really high prices. I listed it for like 10,000, but somebody's got to buy it. I've got 1,046 followers. Country trend is high right now. I mean, come on. <gasps> Akira Kimo agreed to buy it. Oh my God, we got to go home. Okay, I think this is going to work. Ship to buyer plus 20,000 simoleons. Oh my God. That is ridiculous. Took me a day. I didn't even have to do anything. Now I'm kind of wondering if I can make like 100K off of an outfit. I'm going to go back to the store and see if I can make another country outfit and like keep promoting this. I'm delisting that last one. Now that I know, I feel like I should list it for way more money. I'm going to try and promote this a few more times just to be safe. Oh my God, look, I made that. You look good. Oh my God, look, I made that too. <laughs> I feel so powerful right now. <gasps> Look at you. I'm listing it for 100K. I know it's bold. I know it's brave, but I feel like I can do it. I know I've done it too much, but I'm doing it again. At this rate, I'm gonna trick everybody in this whole town into wearing cowboy boots. Look, 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 the hype of this is fire right now, which means we've probably got a good chance of selling it. I'm gonna keep promoting this and like keep country trending high. I'm also gaining more followers each time I click this. So things are going good. We've got 1500 followers. Buy my things, please. I'm like actually begging you. I want to get rich off this so bad. <laughs> I'm like really excited about it. I'm going to list this outfit too. I'm putting this up for a hundred thousand as well. I know my worth and I want to be rich. <laughs> I want to get rich off of this. Oh no. Somebody pranked the toilet and I just used it. Oops. That is absolutely disgusting. Also, there's so much food out here. I could just like keep stealing it. The thrift shops are kind of buggy in this game, as I'm sure you've probably noticed. <laughs> They're like kind of weird, but I might go home for the night now and hope that somebody buys it. They're both like really trending, but they're also really expensive. And I don't know like what the line is. <laughs> like, I don't know how much is too much. They bought it for 20K, so. <gasps> Jeffrey Landgrab would like to purchase it. Oh my God. Of course it was Jeffrey. If anyone's going to buy it, it's going to be Jeffrey. A hundred thousand shipped to buyer for a hundred thousand. That is the most ridiculous thing I have literally ever heard. There's no way. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. Well, um, we're kind of rich and that was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. The first time I did this, I was like, Ooh, maybe they'll buy it for like an extra hundred simoleons. Now this hundred K that's ridiculous. That is the most ridiculous thing I have literally ever heard. But you know what? If Jeffrey is dumb enough to pay for it, then that's his problem. I think on that note, I don't even know if this can be topped. I might end this video right here. This is like a surefire way to make all the money in the world. <laughs> it's so easy. I feel kind of guilty that Stanley wasn't involved, but I mean, this might be, dare I say, the best way to get rich quick in The Sims. I'm glad that I gave it a fair second chance because I had no idea how good this could be when I first tried it. If you want to go back and watch that first attempt from when high school years first came out, I'm going to link it down below. And also if you want to check out ThreadUp and do some thrifting for yourself, like in real life or I guess online, but you know, real clothes, not just Sims ones, you can use my code Kayla to get 35% off your first order. That is seriously a huge discount. You can get some great deals on there. I'm going to have that all linked down below for you in case you want to go check it out. And thank you again to ThreadUp for sponsoring today's video. But with that being said, I'm going to end this one right here and I'll catch you all tomorrow. Okay, bye everybody. Oh my god, I cannot believe that Jeffrey Landgrab paid a hundred thousand simoleons for a cowboy hat. These sims are weak and impressionable. <laughs>